Okay, hey, let's uh, let's get a weather update now from Tom. Well, you you were watching them. That was oh, it was brilliant. I was, I was absolutely ridiculous. Did you hear me clapping? That you was you, was it? You were you were slightly <laughs> out. I have to say, but yeah, uh, that was amazing. <laughs> now uh, we've yeah. had some rather serious mm. weather. Yes. We have. But you know, the thing about this, this rain yesterday and through last night, it was actually concentrated to quite a, quite a small area. Now, this is a snapshot of the rainfall that we had from yesterday. And the flooding, obviously, we've been seeing the pictures occurred around Lancashire. But, you know, you could go something like five miles north, south or east, and they would have had maybe a fraction of the rainfall. So I think we found ourselves in a position where it was just a very unlucky place that got a lot of rain in a short space of time. And the rivers burst their banks so clearly a dreadful situation but these things do happen sadly did you know that was coming well we forecast a lot you of did. rainfall you did. yes oh, we good. forecast a lot of rainfall <laughs> uh yeah i'm not trying to come up with some sort of story here <laughs> where, where that, that, that we didn't forecast the rain but but you know you you can't sometimes get the, the precise amount of millimeters for every town and city and backyard and it's just not possible so um so fortunately, this bad weather's gone now, so it's uh, a change of uh, story, I think. Well, yeah, it's, it's now going to get cold, isn't it? Mm, it is, it is. So what we're going to be seeing over the next few days now is a, a complete change of a theme. We'll have clear skies, lots of sunshine, and uh, a lot of, I think, frost around. Now look at this picture. See this sort of dip here, and then another dip. This is a cold snap. If you're wondering what a cold snap looks like from out of space, it's a dip in the jet stream that drags the cold air from the north. And the air that we're going to be experiencing over the next few days has actually drifted all the way from the, from the Norwegian Sea, so Viking winds, I call it. So those winds will be in place across the UK over the next few days. So tonight, uh, a lot of clear, or this evening rather, a lot, lot of clear weather around, but still some showers across some of these northern areas so it hasn't dried out completely this is the scene around uh, 6 p.m so look how cold it is only three degrees there in the lowlands of scotland a bit of um, snow in the the highlands and of course we've had quite a bit of snow in the last uh, day or so which is very normal for the time of the year by the way uh, to the south of that we've got the clearer skies temperatures of around this is eight eight to ten degrees around the rush hour and then one thing that we are going to see tonight see down here in the southwest there's a weather front that's just going to be sort of scraping the south coast. So I think anywhere from Plymouth all the way to, to London, it could be raining for a time in the evening. And then once that's out of the way, I think in the south we'll be waking up to a cold, damp sort of start to the day. Whereas in the north, we've got that colder air that I showed you uh, all the way from, uh, from the Norwegian Sea. And tomorrow, showers in the north. Some of them will be wintry. Other than that, there's a lot of sunshine around. So a nice, cold crisp sort of day, single figure temperatures, you have to go out into the, uh, um, the Can Canary Islands, not Canary Islands, the Channel Islands, or nearly I suppose with 11 degrees. <laughs> um, this weekend, oh, Channel Islands, uh, frosty nights, chilly wind, and some sunshine. So that's the, uh, the weekend headline. So there you go. There you have it. That's, um, that's how it's looking over the next few days.